YouTube uh, Conflicts Games here. Welcome to uh, video seven of uh, our Inexilium progress, uh, the RPG game uh, we're making. Um, all right. Well, uh, these uh, past couple weeks there have been uh, quite a few uh, changes. Um, first off, uh, Gray Walker YouTube channel uh, Blender Helix Alpha uh, and myself came up with a completely new uh, kind of GUI theme for the game. Um, it was heavily inspired by some of the new Guild Wars 2 GUI stuff uh, we saw. Um, we thought that stuff just looked really cool and it was super efficient so we wanted to try to model our uh, GUI after some of their elements. Um, it looks really good. Um, it's even more simple than the previous uh, kind of GUI stuff that we have yet. It's still powerful and very efficient. Um, I'll be showing off some of the new uh, GUI stuff a little later in the video. Um, secondly, I've been uh, basically rewriting almost everything um, in the game from the ground up. Um, I was previously using an inheritance style uh, programming architecture um, and since uh, we were redoing the GUI again I thought I might as well convert to a component based architecture um, and just kind of start all over uh, for, uh, since, since we uh, got this new GUI going. Um, this change will be very good in the long run. Um, I was already starting uh, to run into some difficulties implementing new features and stuff with the inheritance style architecture uh, due, due basically to poorly designed inheritance structures and poorly factored code. Um, with component based system, the new system that uh, I'm re-implementing everything in, um, it will be a lot easier to add new features down the road and will be super easy to keep the code really well factored. Um, Anyways, for those uh, interested in the difference between inheritance and component-based systems, uh, I have a link down below to a simple little article explaining them both, uh, pros and cons, and so forth. All right. Nevertheless, I do have some uh, things to show this uh, uh, this week. Um, as you can see here, we have a new login screen. Um, we right now just the uh, menu options. Well, you can go to the gameplay demo, or you can quit. So if you click the gameplay demo, it loads the character creation screen. Um, and here now we can, we'll be able to create our character for our game. Um, if we want, we can go back to the menu and it loads up kind of this cool little tween animation there and loads in the menu. All right, we'll go back to character creation. All right, so character creation is pretty basic um, at this point. You have a spot to enter your name. So we'll just enter in player. Um, and then the things you can adjust are your hair color, so we can change that between black, blue, brown, green, um, red, white, yellow. You have some options. Same thing, shirt color, uh, shorts color, you can change those. And then the color of your skin, you can be pale, tan, or dark. Um, and then for classes, right here you can see the attributes, the starting attributes associated with each class. So the warrior here has 12 strength, 12 dexterity, 10 intellect, 10 focus, 10 agility, and 11 vitality. Um, and so we can change that around. Rangers, it changes those. Also, you have the option here if you just kind of want to randomize your, your guy's look. Just kind of randomly picks um, all sorts of colors and so forth. Then when we're ready, uh, we can click create here to start the game. And there we have it. Oh, here's the menu that popped up. I'll show that off in a little bit. All right, so we can see here we go. We have our guy who. Uh, um, oh, it doesn't look like it loaded the correct. Oh, I know why. I have a default uh, data structure in there to load this guy's uh, shirt color and, and hair color and stuff off of right now. I forgot to take that out for this uh, video. But anyway, if if I had that default structure gone, it would load. Um, the attributes and the uh, shirt color and custom stuff that you made. Anyway, like I said before, the I've basically stripped everything down to its bare bones and rebuilt it up. So there's not a lot of functionality right now. We have our guy running around. Um, we have this new GUI stuff that's really kind of simple um, yet really really nice. Uh, just a cool kind of little grunge effect on the bottom. Then we have our health and energy, our skills. Um, and then our little mini map will be right there. And then we have this little button here, which is what will bring up the character windows. Now, I've, we've grouped 
the, all the GUI, what used to be all those different side windows and stuff over here, into just one window that will have multiple tabs associated with it now. So here's what the main uh, window will look like when you first pull it up, and this will be the character screen. This will have the information about the character and so forth. Um, and then you can tab into here, which is the inventory screen. And as you can see, you have a picture of your uh, little image of your guy here. Uh, you'll have all the slots and your inventory. Uh, we're going to switch to a bag style system. So you'll have a main bag that you start with, and that will have X amount of slots associated with it. And then you will be able to acquire more bags and so on and so forth that will have more slots. Um, right now, since, like I said, uh, it started all over from scratch, we just have some basic features. So we can pick up items. They'll so show up in the inventory. Um, and then we have some pretty basic uh, equip, so I can double click equip um, two of those, uh, equip this guy, we can attack, um, steal base damage, kill stuff, um, and that's about it. Uh, the new, uh, I'm pretty excited about these new GUI uh, textures, they look really great. Um, for the, of course, these next couple of weeks, I'm going to be just uh, filling in all the stuff that I basically had before and just kind of re-implementing uh, everything in from the ground up. It's going to be a lot more efficient, a lot more adaptable for, for changes, a lot more just kind of simple and uh, user-friendly. I think this new UI system here with uh, this kind of window that just... Um, that just has multiple tabs to represent all the different windows instead of having to have handles to each window. Um, I think it's going to be very efficient. Um, and uh, that's about it. Not a lot of new features. Hopefully I'll be able to kind of get almost back to where we were in the next couple weeks, um, adding back all the features and get some skills back in and get uh, um, all that all that sort of good stuff back in. But for now, uh, we're, just, uh, we're just building it back up. So... Um, that's about uh, all I have uh, this week, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, and check out our website for more info. Um, just a heads up, our website is going to be going through a complete overhaul. And in the near future, we're just going to get a whole new look and layout for that. Um, so stay tuned uh, for that. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.